Howdy everyone, and today I'll be looking at a brand new autofocus lens from Samyang Optics, their AF 35mm f2.8 FE. Currently, it's only available for Sony mirrorless cameras, but as an FE lens, it can cover both APS-C and full-frame sensors. Its price will be about £280, or around $300. US dollars. Here's a little background for you. I currently own a Sony mirrorless camera, which I mostly use for video work, the little A6300 with its smaller APS-C sized sensor. It's a slightly tricky camera to use, but the quality of its 4K video output is fantastic. So far though, I've been avoiding buying a full frame Sony mirrorless camera like the A7 series for a couple of reasons. Firstly, my money tree in the back garden has had a dismal year, and secondly, the full frame Sony lenses seem to be mostly enormous and I want a smaller camera system. I'll put my hands in the air and happily admit that I am a sucker for small camera lenses. It must be some kind of genetic disposition. Well, this new offering from Samyang is in a happy position of being a full frame FE lens while also being very small. And it's extremely light too, weighing a little under 100 grams. As far as I know, as a modern autofocus lens for full frame mirrorless cameras, this new Samyang Optic has only one direct competitor. In terms of small size and focal length, the expensive Zeiss 35mm f2.8, which costs literally twice as much money. So, if I owned a full frame Sony camera, this small Samyang lens would probably be at the top of my purchase list, if it's any good. We'll see in a moment. It is also a nice pairing for an APS-C camera, where you'll get the equivalent field of view of about 52mm, making it a nice standard lens, and giving you a maximum aperture that's four times wider than the Sony kit lens at 35mm, giving you faster shutter speeds and a more out of focus background. Let's look at the build quality. As I said, the lens itself is tiny and it feels nicely put together. It's based on a metal lens mount, but it feels very light. Its lens cap is a bit unusual. The front cap is also a tiny, thin lens hood with its own detachable 40.5mm lens cap. Or you can twist off that lens hood and attach 49mm filters or lens caps to the lens. It's an unusual design. I personally just ended up leaving the miniature hood off. This lens does not have image stabilization, but it does have an autofocus motor, which runs very quietly, emitting a slight high-pitched whirring sound. The autofocus motor is fairly quick, and it seemed to focus very accurately too, so no problems there. The manual focus ring is very smooth to turn, and the motor responds nice and precisely in manual focus mode. Overall, it's a nice, small, simple lens with no technical problems to report. Let's see about image quality then. As I've mentioned, I don't have a full frame Sony camera to test this on because, well, the money tree thing. So let's see how it does on the challenging 24 megapixel APS-C sensor of my little Sony A6300. At f2.8, in the middle of the image, the lens is very sharp, with average contrast levels and very slightly warmer colours. And over in the corners, the image remains just as sharp, with barely a trace of chromatic aberration. Stop the aperture down to f4 for an incredibly sharp image with great contrast from the corners and back into the middle. The lens remains this sharp, even if you stop down to about f11. So, the Samyang lens puts in a pretty fantastic performance, even on a high resolution APS-C camera. This is the first lens I've used with my Sony A6300, which is truly capable of delivering 24 megapixels of resolution to the sensor, which makes it pretty satisfying to use. Let's see about vignetting and distortion. On APS-C, there is no visible distortion to speak of. At f2.8, there is just a slight touch of vignetting, which goes away the moment you stop down to f4. 
Obviously, on a full frame camera, that vignetting will be more noticeable, but I couldn't say how much. How about close up image quality? The lens can focus down to about 35 centimeters. At the closest focus distance, there's a small degradation in quality. The image is a touch softer and there's a little magenta color fringing, but stop down to f4 and the image is pretty much perfect again. When faced with bright lights, this lens puts up adequate resistance. You can see some broad but fairly transparent flaring, which shouldn't be too bothersome in normal situations, I've certainly seen worse than this before. And finally, bokeh. The lens's maximum aperture of f2.8 means that you can get somewhat out of focus backgrounds. APS-C cameras tend to exaggerate problems with bokeh, but on the whole, everything looks smooth here. I noticed an interesting pattern. Out of focus points in one or two of my images tended to look slightly harder at the top and slightly softer at the bottom. It's only a slight effect, which I think looks quite interesting. On the whole, while I can only speak for its performance on an APS-C camera, the Samyang AF 35mm f2.8 FE is a great performer. It's fantastically sharp, and its other optical characteristics are very good too, and there's certainly nothing wrong with its build quality or autofocus system. Its maximum aperture of f2.8 is not going to turn your photographic world upside down, but that's made up for by the lens's excellent quality and portability. So I can only say it comes highly recommended.